Have you ever wanted to be able to look inside a wrapped present without opening it up first? It seems impossible, right? I mean, it's sealed on all sides. But what if you could go around the box, through the fourth dimension? This is a zero-dimensional point. Line an infinite number of them up along an axis to get a one-dimensional line segment. Line an infinite number of those up along a second axis to get a two-dimensional square. Stack an infinite number of those up along a third axis to get a three-dimensional cube. So, following this pattern, a four-dimensional hypercube is made by placing an infinite number of three-dimensional cubes along a fourth perpendicular axis. If we were to slice any of these objects, we would see that the cross-section of an nth-dimensional object is n minus one dimensions. That means that the cross-section of a fourth-dimensional object is three-dimensional. You can think of a four-dimensional object as kind of like nested boxes, where each cross-section is three-dimensional. However, this analogy isn't entirely foolproof, as it's the equivalent of saying that a series of hollow, nested, two-dimensional squares is the equivalent of a three-dimensional pyramid. So we know what a four-dimensional object is, but what would it actually look like if we lived in four dimensions? Imagine you were flattened to a 2D world. What would you see? You would only be able to look at the edges of the other objects around you, thus your whole world view would consist of a collection of line segments. Jumping into 3D, everything that we look at in our world is just a 2D image. Don't believe me? Try this. Sit down and paint everything you see, then look at your painting edge on. It's two-dimensional. So a 2D world is seen in one dimension, and a 3D world is seen in two dimensions. So that means a 4D world must be seen in three dimensions. But what does it mean to see in three dimensions? Going back to our two-dimensional world, we would only be able to see one cross-section of any given object at a time. However, when we jump upwards into the third dimension, we can see every possible cross-section of the two-dimensional world all at once. Similarly, in three dimensions, we can only see one two-dimensional cross-section of a given object at a time. Just like the situation we saw in the 2D world, if we were to move from 3D to 4D, we would suddenly be able to see every cross-section of a three-dimensional object at once. So, if a four-dimensional person were to look at me, they wouldn't just see the two-dimensional image that you see on your computer screen. They would see every single one of my cross-sections all at once. This seems impossible, right? I mean, how can you see all of something at once? Here's a way to get a better sense of the concept. Look at a solid object, and while looking at the front of the object, try to picture in your mind what the back of the object looks like, and the inside, and the bottom. This mental mapping of the entirety of a solid object is similar to how a 4D creature would see things in his world. A four-dimensional person could see and touch the inside of this box as easily as you or me could see and touch the inside of this square. So if you ever want to know what's inside your present before you open it, just figure out a way to move in four dimensions and you'll have no problem.